Welcome to Isaac Estate. We are a 600 acre estate, specializes in horseback riding. We've got a polo field out here as well, 16 miles of trails, a 25 acre private lake, and a bunch of Airbnbs you can stay at. We've got a couple houses you can rent. One sleeps eight, the other one sleeps six. We've got a loft that sleeps six, and then we have covered wagons, which are more like five-star hotel rooms. They've got uh, king-size beds, couch, TV, breakfast nook, bathroom, shower, HVAC, with an outdoor kitchen and fire pit per one. So it's a great way to spend some time on the property and, and uh, hike our trails and fish our ponds and lakes. So we also have over 35 acres of grapes, so this is one of the largest vineyards in the area, and 100% of our wine comes from our own grapes. We don't grow any local grapes, there's no Norton or Chamberson. We do the University of Minnesota hybrids as blending grapes, as well as we've got Crimson Cab, uh, Chardonnay, and Riesling. So we specialize in our dry wines, especially our dry reds and dry whites, but we also have nice sweet wines as well, so a little bit of everything. We also have a kitchen here, so we do food. We like to do flatbread pizzas and mac and cheese, buffalo wings, and we also have a full bar. So you can come in here and do a wine tasting and try our wines, but you could also do a bourbon tasting, a whiskey tasting, tequila tasting, or just get a gin and tonic or a mojito. We believe in if you're gonna have a good time with your friends, you ought to be able to drink what you like. You don't have to try the wine if you're not interested in it. So um, a bunch of different things. We also try and have a lot of events out here. We also have live music on Saturdays. Um, sometimes they're local bands, sometimes they're more regional bands. More often than not, there's no cover. So you're more than welcome to come out and enjoy the, the events that we have going on and just uh, experience our petting zoo or anything. We are also a family venue, so we expect and enjoy the children to come out on a regular basis. This has been a passion of ours. We, we enjoy the property. We consider it a little a piece of paradise just south of the city. I mean, we're easy to get to straight down the highway, pavement the entire way. We enjoy having people come down and, and kind of share the space with us. I'm Sarah Vore and we're here at Isinglass Estate. Um, this is a 600 acre property that I own and operate along with my husband, Brandon. Our five children are a big part of helping us out here. Our son-in-law helps us here and my parents more recently have moved out here and they're a huge help as well. Um, it's a big operation, 600 acres of vineyards and fields and paddocks and pastures, a lot of mowing. We've got a petting zoo, we do horseback rides, and today is the most exciting day of the year for us. This is our inaugural polo match. So we will be watching Wichita versus Tulsa, playing polo on the field right behind me. That's 13 acres of Kentucky bluegrass and a sand and soil mixture that we have been babysitting and manicuring for the last three and a half years. Um, so we're excited to see polo happen out there. Now you can see the covered wagons behind me as well. Those are the best seats for polo and they're all booked up this weekend. Um, we appreciate everybody who has helped put this together, all of our staff and employees, all of our family members, the volunteers, uh, the neighborhood, everyone has helped. The community's been fantastic. We're expecting several hundred people out here today for the Saturday match and more tomorrow morning for the Sunday match, which will happen at 10 a.m. Um, so come on out and check out Polo returning to Kansas City here at Isinglass Estate. Isinglass began as an equestrian center originally in Stillwell, Kansas, and then we had the opportunity to kind of move the horses out south. Um, we're at about 381st here, um, and we got to add the vineyard and the on-site stays and all the other activities that we loved by creating Isinglass Estate. So we're no longer just about the horses, we have the vineyard, we have all the other components. The name Isinglass comes from the street that my grandfather's farm was on when I was growing up as a kid in Connecticut. And he had cherry trees and apple trees and horses and dogs and all my aunts and uncles and a dozen cousins all the time. It was a wonderful place to be as a kid. And that name and that idea is something we've carried into Isinglass here. Um, so it's grown and developed. We went from our 20 acre Isinglass Equestrian Center to about 600 acres here. Um, we've added tons of features. We'll keep adding more. Um, it comes with the Grandpa Gorman work ethic and appreciation for people, um, the people we enjoy. We want people out here to feel welcome and to come spend the time. We're always kid friendly. We're pet friendly to friendly pets. Um, but it's supposed to be somewhere you can come and spend the afternoon and just relax and enjoy. Whether you're two years old or 102 years old, Isinglass has something for you. When I think about what this place means to me and the ideas and the sentiments that it embodies, it is family, it is hard work, and it is looking at what you have and just simply enjoying it. One of my favorite things to do here 
is commute to work. So we live on property for the summer months. Um, and I live on property sometimes when we're making wine because I don't get to sleep anywhere but in the, t in the production room. But when I leave here at 9.15 at night and the stars are out and you can see them all and I'm walking back to the house on property where we stay and just a week ago, two weeks ago, I was walking back under the northern lights, which was incredible. So I can take my bucket list and bring it here and find it here. And I, it took me an hour to walk a half mile <laughs> because I was looking at everything. And the best part about it is my kids drove home ahead of me. They were in the driveway looking at it. I texted my mom and dad who were in bed uh, a picture of it and said, you guys need to wake up and come see this. And they met me in the driveway. So it's, it's a place where you can enjoy every piece of it.